first thing we need to do in calibration is select the calibration icon on the top of the screen. Once we've connected the meter, we notice at the top of the screen hold values of static pressure, differential, and temperature. These values will be used for the flow computer to calculate flow while we're in the calibration process. Now that the meter is in hold, we can manipulate the manifold for our test equipment. We start by equalizing the high and the low side, then closing off the main valves to the orifice tube, as you can see here, and then venting. In the calibration scenario we're using today, we're going to assume that the static pressure has already been calibrated and checked. So now let's move on to the DP and start with DP checks. We'll make sure we have the checks tab selected in the DP. We'll enter our first check as zero. So we'll put zero here in this field. Hit an OK. Now let's move with uh, putting 50 inches on the cell. Put 50 here. Get as close to 50 as we can. Select OK. Now let's enter a value of 100. There we go, there's our three checks. Now that we've completed the DP checks, let's move on to calibration of the DP. We'll select the calibration tab, select DP, then we'll select our range and make sure it's 100. We'll start with the low cal point, which will be zero. Make sure we have our cell vented to atmosphere. Which we do. We'll say OK. Now we'll move to our high calibration point, which will be 100 inches. Make sure we have 100 on the cell. We'll hit OK. Now we'll move to our midpoint, 50%, which is 50 inches. Make sure we have 50 on the cell. We'll hit OK. And our calibration is complete.